Hey everybody, we're doing cabbage and carrot quesadillas today. Interesting combination, I know, but stick with me, it's delicious. Uh, what we have here is half a head of green cabbage, uh, just chopped up. What I did was cut it in fourths and then just sliced it. Uh, we have about two carrots here that are shredded in our trusty box grater. We have, um, check out our carrot cake pancakes or our carrot fried rice recipes for more on grating carrots. And then we have a peanut dipping sauce. Uh, we have a separate video to show you how to put that together. And we have a little bit of chopped cilantro to go into our sauce, as well as some vegetable oil. Now what you're gonna do once you have uh, your cabbage and carrots all chopped up and grated, uh, you're going to heat some, some of the oil in a skillet and uh, cook the cabbage for about 10 minutes. And through the magic of television here, we've got our mixture ready to go to make these quesadillas. Um, so now we cook the cabbage for about 10 minutes, then added the carrots. And now we're gonna go to putting together the quesadillas. Um, so what I have is my nonstick skillet here. I'm gonna add the remaining oil to warm up. Move that oil around in the pan. And what I, I have a large flour tortilla here. So if you're using smaller ones, then you'll do it, just divide it up however you have the size. We're gonna take a uh, half a cup of this mixture. I'll do a little heaping half a cup here. Put it into half the tortilla. Now I would suggest if you're not using, going to use the peanut dipping sauce, you could add something like shredded cheese to this to help make it stick. So we're gonna do, let's fold this over. And we're gonna press this down until it heats up nicely. You wanna get this a nice golden brown on both sides of the quesadilla. So you can use tongs or you can use a spatula. I find tongs to be very helpful in the kitchen. golden on both sides. No problem if you spill, you can add a little bit in later. You just wanna cook it to get a little bit of a nice crisp here. These look great. Add that right back into the mixture. Alright. So what we do, I'm just gonna slice that up.
Got our peanut dipping sauce. And we are good to go. Enjoy.